fucking structure three quarters of the way across campus from where I need to be. Night in the morning, an hour of traffic. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be all right. Oh, this is my fullest section too. Are people already here? Okay. It's all right. You got this. You've taught this class three times before. It's fine. There's your desk. Just walk to it. Set your coffee down. Busy yourself. They're still settling in. It's all good. Don't let them see how frazzled you are. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Dean Bridell did mention that you were going to be the TA for this section. Hey, you look... You look very familiar. Have I seen you somewhere on campus before? The lacrosse team. That's right. <laughs> I do go to games. Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I have a weird penchant for the sport. I, I don't know what it is. It's just, it's fascinating to me. It feels so classy. Classy but rough. Um, anyway, I'm... I'm Professor Robinson. What's your name? Lovely to meet you. I imagine we're going to get to know each other well in the next three months. I, I like my TAs to be pretty hands-on, um, if that's okay with you. Going to be a lot of work, a lot of grading papers, a lot of peer review and that kind of stuff, you know. And I'm going to be monitoring your sections pretty closely as well. I just want to be sure that, you know, you're really reinforcing in those smaller sections when I'm trying to get through in this huge lecture hall. <laughs> you know, some days when I haven't had my coffee or when things aren't necessarily going my way, I find that, you know, my personality and my voice can't really fill the room and reach 200 sets of eager ears as well as I'd hope to be able to. But that's where you come in. So, yeah, I'll expect some weekly reports on how the discussion sections are going. and uh, As far as grading papers goes, I kind of like a little bit of a collaborative approach to it, you know? Like, two sets of eyes on a paper can't hurt. You know, in fact, it probably helps the student a little bit more. And this is a really fascinating area of history that I'm, uh, that I'm really excited to impart. So, yeah. Do you have any questions? How did I come up with the course? Uh, well, you know, film as a medium is still relatively new, and the last century of American history is kind of the most explosive of any developmental century, of any established civilization. And so to chart the course of America from the late 1890s through the present day, through the lens of everything that happened politically and socially and racially and economically in this country is a really fantastic and creative and inspiring parallel. Uh, let me ask you something. What do you think is the most politically charged film of the 20th century? Just the first thing that comes to mind, you don't have to think too hard about it. I just want to, I, I want to gauge where you're at. Fatal Attraction. <laughs> really? Why is that? Hmm. That's true. It definitely was smack dab in the middle of a new advent. New wave of feminism.
and it came at a time when power dynamics and relationships were nothing if not in flux. Wow, that's really insightful. Yeah, I might have to add that to the list of the things we're going to watch this semester. You know, I haven't I haven't really changed the lineup of films in a couple years, but you really just planted a spark. You're pretty smart. I think this is going to be a good partnership. All right. Well, I gotta, uh, you know, I gotta get started. So uh, why don't you take a seat and, uh, you know, in a couple minutes I'll be sure to introduce you and put your name to your face for everybody so they won't forget. <laughs> Thanks for coming up and introducing yourself. Yeah, I'm excited too. All right, folks. All right, it looks like everybody's settled in. Welcome to Film, Power, and American History. I'm Professor Robinson. Let's get started uh, by going over the syllabus real quick. God. That last one was such a slog. Why is he saying that birth of a nation is more progressive than we think it is? <laughs> I mean, he spent 10 pages trying to tell me this, and yet I still firmly believe that it's the most racist film that's ever come out of this country. Sometimes I worry about these kids. Who are their parents, you know? Like, what are the things that are instilled in them? What can I really change about the way that they see the world and the way that they watch movies? Ugh, it's not a lost cause, is it? <laughs> Good. You know, I'm counting on you to tell me if you ever think that I'm slipping or... just becoming this rambling, borderline middle-aged person. Yeah. I guess some kids just do have their blinders on all the time. You think most of them are high in your sections? <laughs> well, the ones at 8 a.m. on a Friday, I would imagine, are carrying some baggage with them <laughs> from the night before. The ones that show up, anyway. Oh. Your 8 a.m. is actually one of the fullest every week? They're all pretty full? Damn. Damn. You must really know how to connect with them. <laughs> you play review games? What, like Jeopardy or something? That's great. And it, and it's it's working? These things are sticking? Good. They are retaining what I'm telling them? That's good to hear. You know, the first couple semesters I taught this class, I, I, I did feel confident that it, I'd really struck gold with this concept. But now I don't know if it's just because it's been a couple years and I've kind of, you know, become a bit of a zombie just repeating the same lessons over and over and over again. But it, it is reassuring to know that there's actual substance behind this work. It's my life's work, you know. You're learning new things, too. And it's helping with your thesis research. Wow. Cool. I mean, I, I you know, I, I know I'm not your advisor or anything, but if you ever get to a point where you're, you're stuck on a section and you something's drafting, but it's not sticking or it's not working, you can always come to me. I mean, our sessions don't always have to be about my class. <laughs> It can be about you as well. I want you to get something out of this. You're getting enough out of it already. Anything else would be a bonus. 
You're so sweet. <sighs> so what do you got going on after this? I mean, it's a Thursday night. Thursday's the new Friday, right? I don't know. You got to teach the discussion in the morning, but I'm sure you're experienced enough that a, night, a little night of partying and running on fumes for a little while probably won't deter you that much. Mm. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Mm. Yeah, no. Take it. Take it. Mm. Please. Everything okay? Hmm. Who was it? Oh, you... You have a date. <laughs> awesome. Well, where, where, what are you guys going to do? Dinner in a movie downtown. Classic. Where's dinner? Really? What kind of college kid can afford that place? Isn't it a tasting menu? His parents are on the board of the school. Of course. Uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry that that came off crass. I'm, I'm sure he's a lovely guy. What does he do? What's his, what's his major? Business? Shocker. <laughs> well, you know what? I won't keep you. Um, there's only two more of these, and they're they're pretty short. And I'm losing steam a little bit, so I want to just you know maybe drink some coffee and get a second wind and just get through these. So yeah, no, go ahead. I'll uh, I will see you uh, after the weekend. Have fun. Anyway, so just a reminder for those of you that have not submitted your first draft of your term paper, um, that was due on Tuesday. It is now Friday, and, um, you know, it's time to step it up, guys. If you haven't turned it in, you know, you know who you are. Uh, I, don't, I don't have anything else to say other than get it done. Um, I have a life, too. <laughs> so, um, and I don't, I don't mean that to sound, you know, aggressive or, or ornery or anything, but you know, it's, you guys have done really good work so far this semester and I don't want to see you peter out now. I know it's, I know it's a gen ed. I know a lot of you are freshmen and are maybe getting used to the hang of what college is, but a deadline is a deadline. Okay. So if you have any questions or you need any assistance, feel free to reach out to me or your TA. We are both wildly available. Uh, that being said, class dismissed. You guys have a great weekend and um, take care of yourselves. See you next week. Anybody give anything to you? No? What's the general mood of the sections? Are they um, are they participating? Are they are they learning? Are they um, you know are things resonating still? They're less than half full half the time. Well, what happened? Where did your sparkling, effervescent grad student charisma go. <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry. That was uncalled for. Um, 
Listen, um, I don't really know what it is about this semester. I don't know if it's just me feeling disheartened, disenchanted with academia or whatever, but um, I'm really struggling. You know, I'm reading all these all these first drafts, and I'm I'm not able to focus, and I feel like I'm just letting subpar work slide, and I'm just not meeting my own standards here. <laughs> I just feel distracted, and I just keep counting down until the semester's over. And um, are we alone? Can you uh, can you check and make sure that? I think one of the things that's distracting me is that um, we don't have any more, or we've we, we've stopped our little collaborative sessions. I don't know. I I don't see you as much anymore, and I I miss you. I hope that's not weird to say, and I don't mean any any ill intent by it. I. I I do really value you as a colleague, and I respect you as a student, and um, I don't want to cross any boundaries, but just so you know person to person where I'm at. And if you feel like I'm not pulling my weight, that may be why. And I've said way too much already, and I'm running on no sleep, so I'm just going to pack up and head out. And uh, yeah, I'm going to think about some stuff over the... <laughs> All right, <laughs> don't don't imprison me in my own lecture hall here. Let me let me just get past. Why are you blocking the door? You have something to tell me. Listen, I don't want to hear about this guy. You, you know, you, you seem perfectly happy with him, and you seem, it seems like the relationship is developing, so why don't we just... You broke up with him? I'm sorry to hear that, but uh, are you okay? I mean, if you want to talk about it, we can... You only went out with him to stop feeling things for me. <sighs> well, there you have it. Um, well, how do you want to proceed? I mean, if you don't feel comfortable, we can reassign you to a different professor, or I can give Daniel your section. I mean, he's nowhere near as effective of a TA as you, but he's eager, so if you want to step back, I, I end it. Okay. I really need to go. We can't be doing this in here. I, I don't know if there are cameras, but it's best not to take our... Ch <laughs> <laughs>